Knitting techniques. The cross four right stitch. English style. Left handed. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your knitting right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five knit tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A pair of knitting needles, a cable needle or a double pointed needle, and a ball of yarn. A special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores and lionbrand.com. In the color, taupe. The cross four right, or you might see it called the cable four right, is a cable technique uh, or cable stitch where we are taking one stitch and we are crossing it over three other stitches. In this case, we're crossing it to the right. Now, if you are left-handed, then this will actually cross the other direction. So it'll be um, the equivalent of what would be a cross for left. Um, but you would create it the same way that you do a cross for right, if that makes sense. Um, you'll see this uh, abbreviated as C4R, uh, and the four means that the cable is worked over four stitches. Um, sometimes people think that that means that we're going to take four stitches and then cross them over another four stitches, but that would be actually a cable eight. Uh, so we're just going to use these four stitches. So let me show you how we do this. We're going to take our cable needle here, or you could use a double pointed needle if you'd like, and we're going to slip the next three stitches onto the cable needle. This is step one. Then we're going to hold that behind our work. And then for step two, we're going to knit the next stitch off of our main needle. And then step three, we will knit the three stitches off of the cable needle. So let me show you how we do this again real quick. Okay. I'm just going to undo these four stitches. And we will place these back on our main needle. When I do cables, I actually don't use a cable needle. I just remove the stitches because they're not likely to go anywhere unless you tug on them a lot. And then I'll just reposition them and then knit them. But we will do this again with the cable needle. We're going to slip the next three stitches off onto the cable needle, and then we will hold that behind our work. Okay. Then we're going to knit the next stitch off the main needle, and then we will knit the three stitches off of our cable needle. All right, and that is going to give us the cable four right stitch. Hey. I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, New Stitch A Day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!